every consumer's information is out there. And as the recent hack of Equifax proves, all of it is vulnerable. I do pay my bills online. I've got you know, my name out there. This Manchester woman asked us not to show her face because she doesn't want her identity stolen again. The way she found out she was a victim, she recently got a letter about her Citibank credit card. The problem is she doesn't even have an account and she doesn't know how someone got her information to create one. I immediately called and they said, well, you have a $7,800 balance. And I thought, no, that's not right. She did the right thing, according to security experts, by contacting police and getting a credit freeze. It's scary. It's scary. I mean, who was this person? I mean, I don't even know who it is. It's an issue millions have faced, and the Equifax data breach has potentially compromised 145 million Americans. Social security numbers, addresses, and other personal information taken by hackers. Locally, Jim Buffetti of the New Hampshire Attorney General's office says about 635,000 Granite Staters might be affected, or almost half of the state's entire population. Because it was a credit reporting agency, I think it did get people to say, wait a minute, you know, I, this is my information. I didn't go shopping at a store and use my credit card. I didn't even give these people my information. By the numbers, data breaches affecting New Hampshire residents have spiked significantly. The state began keeping track in 2006 when there were just seven breaches. In 2015, there were 144, then 355 the following year, and so far this year, 448. I think these breaches are going to be something we're going to have to live with. Uh, and that we need people in these, in these businesses who are handling the security to be much more vigilant. Aside from the credit freeze, Buffetti says creating strong passwords, always checking finances, and safeguarding personal information need to become habit. Cameron Schilling, a data security attorney, recommends getting identity theft insurance. Generally, people can find a policy for less than $100 a year. Meaningful insurance a million dollars of loss insurance, um, and uh, a company that can help them restore their identity if they do become a victim of identity theft. Schilling says businesses should work with legal and information technology professionals to better protect themselves. So the idea of data security is finding your vulnerabilities, fixing them, and making yourself more secure. As for the woman whose identity was stolen, she also know. has a message. Dad, I never thought it could happen to me, but it did. So maybe somebody else out there, they're doing the same thing and they won't know about it. And to find out if you are impacted by the Equifax breach, the company's website can tell you, but you have to enter your last name and last six digits of your social security number. Equifax is offering free services because of the breach. In the studio, Mike Cronin, WMUR News 9.